Hey guys, Mikey here. I'll be back next week. Welcome to episode 33 of Controller Nation Weekly for the week of March 11th. <laughs> Mass Effect Paragon Lost is the title of the new anime that is being produced by Funimation. The movie follows James Vega of Mass Effect 3 fame, which tells his backstory and should see a fall 2012 release. Hopefully Paragon Lost will be better than the ending for Mass Effect 3. It's official, Diablo 3 is launching on May 15th. You can pre-purchase the game right now via Battle.net. Baldur's Gate is getting an enhanced edition. It was announced on Thursday that enhanced editions of both Baldur's Gate titles are being developed for PC. The new titles will include updated graphics as well as a variety of modern improvements. Specifics of those improvements have yet to be mentioned. And Exile has exceeded their Kickstarter and will be making Wasteland 2. They have already blown past their second milestone, securing $1.2 million, which will aid in expanding the world. At $1.5 million, they'll make the game cross-platform, adding Mac and Linux support. If you would like to help funding, you have until April 17th. It looks like the Dishwasher series will become a trilogy. James Silva of Scott Studios stated at GDC that fans want a third, Microsoft wants a third, and he wants to make a third. So it looks like there will be a third. If you're a fan of games on Xbox Live Arcade, a change will be going into effect shortly allowing XBLA titles to up their available gamer score points from 200 to 400. Games released between April 1st and May 31st will have the option to use the old or new rules, and all titles released after June 1st will be using the new system. Since we're on the topic of gamer score, some gamers may have freaked out when their gamer scores dropped to zero. Microsoft has since fixed the issue, so everything should be back to normal. Microsoft made a statement this week about the possibility of a new Xbox being shown at E3. According to the company, they are focusing on the Xbox 360 at the moment and have no plans to show a new console this year. That's it for this week. Be sure to get social with our Facebook and Twitter. And we'll see you here again next week.